we have riding with us on the mule train today two representatives here with the Head Start program. And by the way, Head Start is taught in the Mule Shoe School system and at Dillman Elementary School. And we have Laurie Garza, who was Laurie Kynard and, of course, was reared here in Milshoe, and Jennifer Crookham. And uh, Jennifer, what is your title? I'm the Mental Health and Disabilities Manager. And Laurie, what is your title? I am Family and Community Partnerships Assistant. And so now we're getting ready for the next school year that will start when in Milshoe? Um, school starts August the 22nd. And so they need to re register their children now? Yes, yes. If they'd like to be in the Head Start program, we are taking applications now. And now who is eligible to be in the Head Start program in Milshoe? Any children who are four by September 1st, that's our cutoff. Um, and then we also look at income, we look at disability statuses, we look at all kinds of things to determine um, who ends up in our program. Uh -huh. so. And now, do you also have a program for those who are disabled? Yes, we do. We provide comprehensive services for children with disabilities. And, and that is f uh, four years of age too? Yes, it is. Uh -huh. Now, are they four-year-olds, period, in this program? They're not four at, at to a certain age, right? Right. It's uh -huh. just for, um, if they're five before September 1st, then they are not, not eligible. Right. Uh-huh. And uh, so now, Laurie, what do they need to do if they want their child to go to Head Start in Milshoe School? Um, the best thing to do is to call Rosa Melendez um, and call her at 272-7382. Um, uh -huh. um, she's at um, Dillman Elementary. Um, if you're outside the Milshoe area, you can call 1-800-658-9632. Um, and um, we'll ask you to bring some documentation with you um, when you come the best thing to have is your child's birth certificate an up-to-date shot record proof of income for 2010 things like your tax return a w-2 form any grants or scholarships you receive child support and uh, and or paycheck stubs if you don't have your um, 2010 tax return. Um, and we also would like to have some kind of proof of insurance like Medicaid card or a private insurance card. Okay. And now uh, these children who come to Milshoe to the Dillman Elementary School Head Start program are taught by one teacher or do, are there several teachers? We usually have two teachers in the classroom and so we'll have a, a lead teacher and a teacher's assistant um, and then if the child is receiving disability services then someone else will help provide those and uh, now usually how big is the classroom how many children 20 20 in the classroom and so this year did you have uh, just about 20 every uh, day I believe so. <laughs> I believe so. It's and I, I would say that would be a, a nice size class. Oh, that's an awesome class. And we have more than one classroom here. Uh -huh. um, we have three or four um, pre-K and Head Start classrooms here in Milshoe. Uh -huh. um, in partnership with the the ISD here um, and um, the kids may be in Texas um, pre-k or they can be in Head Start now if they don't register their child during the school that's going on right now they could come to your office there in Lubbock yes they can call us at our 1-800 number uh -huh. and we will be glad to complete an application over the summer so um, we can secure them a slot to be in Head Start when school starts on August 22nd they can call us at the 1-800 Six five eight um, ninety six thirty two number, and we can do an application over the summer. And we're also going to have some roundup days on August the fourth and fifth at Dillman, Dillman Elementary, and they'll um, they'll just be, everybody will be there um, on those days just doing applications. Um, so that's a little extra day if you want to maybe write that on your calendar, or you can do it now. Go ahead and get it done so you don't have to worry about it, and you know your child will be in Head Start when school starts. Uh -huh. Now, Head Start, what exactly is that program? What is that for? Head Start is a federally funded program, um, and it's geared primarily towards low-income families, trying to bring them out of poverty, trying to bring them, um, help their children have better lives and more be more prepared for kindergarten um, so that they do do better in school um, on up through and are able to graduate and all of that and go on to college or you know whatever they want to do with their lives um, and we it's a comprehensive program one thing that I love about the program is that we do serve um, the whole family not just the child uh, we help 
the family with whatever needs they bring to us. Um, we make referrals, we help them um, with mental health services, with grief counseling services if there's some kind of loss, um, just all kinds of things. So that's what Head Start is. Now, can you help the mom and dad with their education? Yes, we can. Find uh, the way they can be helped. Yes, we can. Uh We can help with education. We can help with, um, if they need some classes in learning how to speak English, we can help with that. Um, Gosh, all kinds of things. (laughs) Just anything. Yeah, Uh absolutely. Uh, I would think that's very important. Now, something else we want to mention. Now, we're talking about Milshew right now, and it's for four-year-olds. But in the area which you all cover... Right. You have it for younger children too. Absolutely, absolutely. In um, most of our t- um, towns, um, it's with an ISD. It's usually four-year-olds, but some of the towns also s- um, serve three-year-olds. Um, in Morton, if you're from Morton, we also have an early Head Start program in Morton, which serves um, individuals um, from birth to um, three years old and um, pregnant women. Um, if you're in Olton, um, we serve um, four-year-olds in Olton. Sudan, um, we also serve. Um, four-year-olds in the school in the school and in Littlefield we do three um, years old at Little Steps and four-year-olds at the ISD and what about Spring Lake Earth do you know um, we are not with Spring Lake Earth are, are you Amherst no they both but I think both of those towns do have state pre-k funds uh-huh. Yes. And so now they're in Sudan. It's in the school system for four year olds. Yes, ma'am. Yes. And so they need to register at Sudan now too. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. They could go to the the Sudan ISD or call the eight hundred number, and we can help them um, figure out which the best place for them to do their application. Whatever's yeah. easiest for that, them. That one eight hundred number is for the entire area. Yes. Yes. For all twelve counties we serve. Uh-huh. Yes. Now. If you could just talk to a mom or a dad or both and explain to them why their child at four should go to school. Well, um, for one thing, we're, we're finding that a lot of kids start kindergarten with knowing very few words compared to kids that do go to Head Start. Um, and they're just, with Head Start, you can... Um, the, the child can start getting some social emotional skills. They can start learning how to share if they don't have siblings. Um, they can make lots of friends. And so, I mean, that's obviously a great thing for kids. Um, and they can also just start learning. They learn can learn their alphabet. They can start learning how to write. They can start learning all kinds of things. And then um, with Head Start, like I said, we work with the whole family. And so we can give the parents some tips and some activities that they can do at home with their child um, and just really kind of just give them a head a head start really um, when they go into kindergarten. So. And, uh, now what about speech therapy? Does that come under uh, a disability? Yes it sure does. It sure so does. I'm sure there's a lot of students that can uh, ha- be helped in that uh, area. Yes and one thing about Head Start too is that we do we're required to screen every child that comes into the program um, for a lot of different concerns, and one of those is speech. Uh-huh. We look at their speech, we look at um, their gross motor skills, their fine motor skills, we look at um, cognitive skills, their ability to match numbers or match pictures to, to different things. Um, we look at their health and, and dental development and make sure that that's all where it needs to be. Um, just all kinds of things that we look at and we screen for. And then um, if there are concerns, then we'll make referrals as necessary and, and get them the services they need. Yes. Anything else that you want to talk about in regards to Head Start? Well, and the kids will also have a whole lot of fun. You know, they'll play and they'll make friends. And um, it'll be an experience they'll never forget. You know, um, I remember my pre-K teacher, um, uh, Miss Treva. Um, Keith and Treva, do you remember? Taylor. Yes, Taylor. <laughs> yes, uh, she was my pre-K teacher. I still have my pre-K diploma on my wall. <laughs> so, you know, it, you know, pre-K is just one of those um, experiences you'll never forget. And um, the other thing that we could talk about is if you have a little extra time on your hands, you want to go up to one of the classrooms and volunteer, you'd like to go read to the kids, we would love you to. Um, you ha- have some extra pencils or some extra paper, um, some little supplies you um, think the kids might mean feel free to call Rosa at the school and donate them to the school because um, one of the great things about 
um, Head Start is the kids don't have to buy school supplies. Um, the parents can donate them if they would like, but it's um, part of the program. And if somebody would like to donate some of those things, we'd be glad to, to and take them. you could use volunteer help. Oh, absolutely. Any kind of volunteer, it, in, volunteers in the classroom just makes the experience even more fun for the kids. And now give me that telephone number to call Rosa. Okay, that phone number is 272-7382. Um, and is that directly uh, to her at that's Delman? That, that's or? the elementary um, school. That's, that's, and you need to ask for Rosa yes. Melendez? Melendez, yes. Melendez. Yes, ma'am. Rosa Melendez. Yes. Now, we're talking about children who will be four mm-hmm. before or by September the 1st of this year who are eligible for this Head Start program. And it is free, and it is in Muleshoe at the Muleshoe Elementary School, Delman and they need you to register now your child or at least uh, on the roundup dates what August 4th and 5th August 4th and 5th and that's held where I mean it's held out Delman at Delman Elementary School or you can call and talk with anybody that answers the phone at the one I told you yes um, they can call and ask for Jennifer Laurie um, usually Maria answers the phone Uh she'd be glad to to let them know uh, it's one eight hundred six five eight six nine three two you can call any working day monday through friday i'm sure and this is a federal program and you do not have to pay for these services but your child needs to be what would you say from a low-income family mostly we do have some um children that we can accept from over income families or what's considered over income um, but we follow the federal poverty guidelines to determine eligibility Uh uh-huh and uh, now, uh, anything else besides uh, the registration and needing volunteers and supplies? And um, I think that's it. We've covered that's it. That's it. Okay. Covered okay. Yes. And um, we appreciate you two ladies. Now, this is called the South Plains Community Action Association's Head Start and Early Head Start Program. But we have the Head Start Program in our school, yes. right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. But now is the time to be sure that your child gets that head start and so be sure and get your child registered if they are eligible.